Father God can be called a friend. No other God can be called redeemed. No other God is coming back again. And now we love your name, Jesus. You're the beautiful one. We love your name. And I will love your name, Jesus. You're the beautiful one. We love your name. Glory to God. I will call ancient of days in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. No other not God, no other God can be called. No other God to say can. No other God tonight can be called redeemed. No other God is coming back. Subscribe in the mobile app yeah. for multi track worship. And music I will love you, Lord, yeah. I will love your name. You're the beautiful one. We love your name. I will love your name. Yeah. Jesus, you're the beautiful one. We love your name. Welcome tonight, everybody. I will love your name. Yes. Jesus, you're the beautiful one. Love your name. One more time. We love your name. We love my God. You are the beautiful one. Love your name. Said how we love you. My God, yeah, Lord, yeah, how we love. Lord of the Lord, yes, we love. For you came. you came and brought us into the reign of grace. We love we your name. Love the fragrance of your holy name. So we came, you came, brought us. Welcome everybody, good night. In advance, come on in. Good evening. For you came. Brought us Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome tonight. Let's worship him tonight. 
from the beginning one with God the most as high sin was great your love was greater go say pray let's now welcome tonight beautiful name it is name of jesus christ our king a beautiful name it is nothing can stand again Separate us now. What a wonderful name it is. Welcome tonight. Wonderful name it is. Of Greece. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Blessed be thy holy name. We give you glory. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you're welcome tonight. I was still writing something here. Welcome tonight. Amen and amen. Let's worship him. You deserve the glory and the honor. Yes, Lord, we lift our hearts and worship. So we exalt your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Yes. We worship you tonight. We lift our hands and worship. As we exalt your holy name. For you are great. You the miracle so great. There is no one else like you. When you worship him tonight. There is no one else like you. I know you know it. You are great. You the miracle so great. Nobody else, no one like you. My God tonight, there is no one else like you. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. You deserve the glory and the honor, yes. Lord, we lift our hands and worship. We exalt your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor, the honor, yes. Lord, we lift our hands and worship. We exalt your holy name. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Nobody else tonight. 
There is no one else like you. You are great. You're the miracle so great. There is no one, no one else like you. Oh, there is no one else like you. When you open up your mouth and begin to talk to God now. Father, we thank you for today. Thank him for your life. Thank him for your family. Thank him for the day. Thank him that you're not dead. Thank him that you're not fired. Thank him that you didn't sleep hungry. Thank him. Open up your mouth. Yes. Give him the fruit of your lips tonight. Thank him for what he prevented. Thank him for what he brought to you. Thank him for prayer that has been answered. Thank you that he kept you in the midst of this pandemic that is actually gone out of the country already. Thank him for preserving the nation. Thank him, thank him, thank him tonight. Nobody else like you, yeah. My God, my God, my God, yes. Like you. Hallelujah. Oh, nobody else like you, Father, tonight we hold. We give you praise, our Lord. Nobody else like you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be thy holy name. Blessed be thy holy name. Welcome each and every one of you. We welcome you for tonight. Something is about to burst open. Even in your life tonight. Thank you, Father. La casco brasco baravante que le mesco ili amanda. Baruze de becashka bande le vrasco alama. Zimbrosco tolovoria. Zelebresco tolokoshka bante levenia. We thank you for tonight, Father. Thank you for the spirit of grace. And now we open up this service before you. We ask that the spirit of God descend here. In the name of Jesus, in the night, O oh God, of national prophecies, we ask in the name of Jesus that you raise up intercessors. Raise up a people, O oh God, that shall come after thee on the behalf of their nation. Raise up watchmen tonight. Raise up watchmen tonight, not spectators. Raise up watchmen tonight, O oh God. Yes, not with itching ears, but those who can stand on their watch at night. Those who can stand on their watch in the day and that can open up their mouth and begin to constitute them. Yes, the future of the country. Even on their knees tonight, we thank you. Open up your mouth tonight and just begin to talk to him. Even as I pray, Kaliski Baradalia, Sedebekosha, Brandele Kiskuma Hatali, Fehena Kadale Gebresko Bahatakalia, Embrasko, Vavaskemi Inakata. God is looking for watchmen. God is looking for those who are going to stand on their watch, Habakkuk 2 and 1. He's not looking for itching ears. He's not looking for people who have an ear to hear and excited about the prophecy and, and prophecies of the nation that become a very agitated and excited and very curious, like they say, the, the, the curiosity that killed the cat. He's not looking for those kind of people in the kingdom. He's looking for watchmen. He's looking for watchmen. He's looking for watchmen. Hitherto, have you not prayed? Pray, and there shall be an answer. Knock, and the door shall be opened. Seek, and you shall find. We come before you tonight. We stand on our watch tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, even in advance, O oh God. Like as it were in the days of Daniel. This matter is by the decree of the Holy One. And by the demand of the watchers. That men may know that God rules in the kingdom of men. And he gives it to him so ever he will. We thank you for tonight, oh God. We open up this service tonight to the Holy Ghost. We decree and declare by the veracity of the word of God. By the veracity of the Holy Ghost. We open up the portals of heaven. We decree and declare. Let the atmosphere be charged tonight. Open up your mouth, Zion. Open up your mouth, church. Begin to talk to God. Don't just look at me. Lekosa parasko badale vendiribi aso pradila lekesh kabanto lokomahana fai zimbras kotaliba lerebekosha 
e praskuda labai liri bikason taleve ena katalia jegedesh kapanto lokopai he said he looked and he sought for a man to stand in the gap and when he found none his hand brought him salvation so he put on a wrath and put on a garment on, like a breastplate and he went to work he's looking for a man and a woman tonight who can get out of themselves get out of the attitude get out of pentecostalism get out of churchianity and he hit the strong room of prayer and he hit the secret place and begin to contend like as it were in the days of Zephaniah, as it were in the days um, yes, of David, um, as it were in the days of the strong men of David that will break through Bethlehem to bring waters to refresh the king. In the name of Jesus, God is looking for watchmen tonight. It's a night of recruitment. It's not just a, a night of listening and watching and, 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 and writing it down. He's recruiting watchmen tonight. He's recruiting watchmen tonight. It's a night of recruitment. Katasele behocha. E gabrasku talamahanta. Veken men that will posture themselves before God. And stand as it were in the days of, of Ananias. Yes, as it were in the days of the priest of Nan, Ananias. That stood in the city where with Saul, now named Paul, would come and torment the church. But Jesus struck him on the way. Why? Because of Ananias. He understood priesthood. He understood jurisdiction. He understood the place that he was given. He understood the city. He understood the place that he was given. The Bible declared, Because men do not know their way into the city, their labor, the labor of the foolish, it wears all of them out because they know not how to go to the city. He's not talking about direction, just direction by walking. He's talking about decrees, standing in the posture, in the presence of God. Jeremiah asked a question, who is it that has stood before the counsel of God to hear what God is saying? Let him now speak. And all the people that were around, including false prophets, were quiet because it was only Jeremiah who could ascend into the heavens, who could ascend to the court of heaven, who could ascend to the particles of heaven, to the place of Zion and begin to interact and intermingle. Proverbs declared in 18 and 1 that the man, through desire, a man having discovered that he has a desire, through desire, a man having separated himself, will begin to intermingle, will begin to interact. He'll begin to see the problem with the church. Is we love prophecy. Is we love excited prophecy. Is we love what is going to happen to the nation. And people are out there watching and watching. But they're not watching in their name. They're not watching over on their name. They're not sitting in a posture that is likely to present them as priests and kings in the kingdom of God. They will listen and watch them and they will get excited. Some of them will write them. Some will never write them. And then when the word will come to pass, they will be excited. Oh, it has come to pass. Surely there is a prophet. Surely there is a word. Surely there is a God. But the role of prophecy is not for information. It is for priesthood. Oh, I feel that in the spirit. He's calling people into priesthood to higher level of responsibility. When a word will come, what are you going to do about it? Shata parados kalamahana Fehene kesali inamrando skopai Liribika sota le kapras kalavahana Preskoto lokopan televene gedia Shada parasko E kaprantula kapane venenia E kabrando lokoski mihina katani Frendos kabaradia Zegadesh kabahana katola gabraske E praskuna vaha Would you pray with me tonight? E kabrando lokos kabana hana vanania if ever I loved you, Jesus, it is now. It is now. It is now. Lekoso barante keleme praskoto koba beyond prophecy, beyond the gift, beyond the office, beyond uh, seeds, beyond offering, beyond breaking through in business, making the bullion. What is it that you can stand for? What is it? What if God changes your assignment tonight? What if God changes your destiny tonight? Would you know it? 
What if God changes your assignment tonight? Would you in the would you be aligned so much in the spirit that you would know the season has changed? The season has shifted. My life has shifted. The assignment has changed. Or would you rather go into the same path? Or would you rather be hard-headed? Or would you be insensitive to never even have to know? And many believers are staying up in the place where God was. Not where God is. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So yesterday is not today and today is not tomorrow. Tomorrow is in the womb. It takes a prophetic eye to pull out what is in the tomorrow to bring it to the today and to bring the, the history of yesterday to reconcile it with the today and to give you a perfect future. He said to Jeremiah, I knew you before you was a sperm in your mama's womb. That was his future. And then he brought the present. I have called them to be a prophet. You are a hiding place. We're getting ready to start. You always feel my heart with songs of deliverance. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say I am strong in the strength of my Lord. Father, we open up this session before you. Speak to the nation clearly. I avail myself as a vessel of honor tonight. Let that grace land now in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Isaiah 59. I'm deliberately uh, getting us into the word tonight before I read what the Lord has been speaking tonight. Isaiah 59. I'm going to read a couple of verses. From verse 1. Behold the Lord's hand. Is not shortened, but it cannot that it cannot save. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither is his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, and he will not hear. And then I'm going to read 3 and 4. For your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue has muttered perverseness. Verse 4. None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. Now hear this. I'm going to go now. To verse 10 and verse 16. We grope. We grope for the wall. Like the blind. And we grope as if we had no eyes. We grope for the wall. Groping. If you've blindfolded someone and tell them to look for you, what that is, is groping. They'll begin to, yeah, groping. We grope for the wall like the blind. And we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as in the night. We stumble at noonday when there is daylight as if there is a blackout in the day. Just like you can, you can stumble in the night because you can't see right and there is darkness. He says that level of stumbling has stepped on into the day and now night and day has no difference. And then he says we are in desolate places as dead men. 
and the cure for that is this verse 16 and he saw that there was no man and wondered so God can wonder and wondered that there was no intercessor therefore his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness it sustained him for he put on righteousness now as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head and he put on garments of vengeance for clothing and he was clad with a zeal as a clock and then he says now because there was no church to pray we was busy building kingdoms and busy uh, looking after post COVID-19 and busy looking after our own things and busy doing right things except priesthood. He says, according to their deeds, accordingly will he repay. So I will leave it there for now. I'll go to Psalm 74. Psalm 74, verse 9, Psalm 74, verse 9. All these are national, uh, they are all orchestrated and directed towards the nation of Kenya. Psalm 74, verse 9, it is directed towards the nation of Kenya, but it is being addressed from the body of Christ. The perspective, the cure, the salt of the earth is the church and not the government. And so what I'm studying and I'm reading here to you and breaking it down tonight is coming as an offshoot. It is a message, a mirror to the body and it is reflecting to the nation. 74th Psalm, 74th Psalm verse 9. We see not our signs. We see not our signs. There is no more any prophet, neither is there among us, us any that knoweth how long. We see not our signs. There is no more any prophet, neither is there any among us, us that knoweth how long. Verse 10, O God, how long shall the adversary reproach shall the enemy blaspheme thy name forever why have you withdrawn thy hand get it out of your bosom remember what i read to you in psalm 119 the other night it is time for thee O god to work it is time for thee lord to work for men have made void thy law you remember that here he says why would you withdraw thy hand, even thy right hand? He says, pluck it out of thy bosom. For God is my king of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. Well, before I scatter in a thousand directions, I want to put this foundation for ten minutes or less, and then I tell you what is it that you need to hear tonight. I'm coming from a place of trepidation because um, it seems to me that COVID-19 and the pandemic that has hit the entire world has caused in many jurisdictions a cry and revival has hit many prayer places and many secret places have been awakened and many hearts have been turned to God. Nevertheless, as it regards the nation of Kenya, it seems to me that uh, there is a, a national agenda as it pertains to overriding the will of God. And um, what I'm about to read to you tonight here, and especially on the political scene, is something the Lord has been encasing in my spirit as it regards two personalities in the Bible and I'm gonna when when I begin to read you'll begin to understand but I want you to hear me and hear me strong tonight Zion that is the church he's calling you to the place of awareness one but two he's calling you to the place of intercession the government 
that is about to come in 2022 is the check the amount is on the check the signature is not signed in other words the person who needs to sign the release of that amount is the body of Christ please hear me swell tonight if we do not galvanize in the place of intercession and scatter the plans of the enemy what I'm about to read to you tonight is what is going to happen if the church does not begin intercession 2020 to 2022 in other words two years of deep intercession and never being carried away by news items are speaking talking points political rallies or influence see the problem with the body and especially in the nation of Kenya is that we are so fragmented to an extent that we can't pull a prayer agenda together it is that bad so that when you begin to pray the will of God you will be termed and you will be isolated because even in the pulpit and even the fathers and even in certain quarters in denominations they have their clock already ticking they have their image their man and according to the bible that is not supposed to be there and that does not mean that christians should never vote no it does not mean that it means that they need to ascend up higher to an experience with the spirit of god that he will open up their hearts or their understanding and they will be able to know who to vote for outside of campaigns outside of camera lights and action outside of influence but the body that is the body of christ has been swayed and what i'm about to read to you tonight is actually many warnings that are coming from the presence of god and that if the body does not galvanize itself together number one as i have said earlier in uh, the prophecy some two weeks ago the church will be actually not even two weeks friday it should be friday uh, uh past friday or the other friday the church is going to be fragmented in other words there will be two splits and two sets of what we know as the mainstream church and the traditional voice so we need to pay attention tonight for what i'm about to read i read those two scriptures because there is an agenda there is an agenda and the enemy is already spewing uh, and seducing the church and seducing the nation and so father as i begin to release what you've given unto me i add my voice to the many men and women of god who by prophetic knowledge in their own quarter and in their own office have spoken thus to their congregation and even to the nation and now i add up my voice to the many voices in the spirit of just men made perfect we've come to mount zion tonight you spoke one word to jacob it lighted upon israel once you've spoken twice i the prophet i have heard it the power belongs to our god we thank you for tonight in Jesus name amen and amen glory to God let's begin with politics tonight I told you it's a night of prophecy so I'm gonna take it one by one it's a couple of uh, uh, words and many others that I've not written here as I hear by the spirit I will release those ones but um, as a as a this is a hybrid but it is going towards the politics of the country Kenya number one should pray especially the church especially the church as we approach the close of the year 2020 because I see a contention of loyalty a contention of loyalty a contention of loyalty Kenya should pray I repeat the church should pray before the close of this year 2020 there is coming a contention 
of where your loyalty will lie. And the Spirit of the Lord told me that what we are about to witness in the platform of politics is a case of Absalom and his father David. Is a case of Absalom and his father David. Now, the reason why that is very key for you is so that you can go and study the story and the life and the partnership of Absalom and his father David. And then, when the enemy began to come after David, the father, uh, sorry, Absalom and his father David, and when the enemy began to attack David through his own son, Absalom. Now notice, there was Solomon, there was Absalom. And there was another personality, which I'm going to introduce here, is called Adonijah. The Spirit of the Lord has been speaking regarding the nation of Kenya in that format. And believe you me, in 2022, even in 2021 coming here, you will see those three personalities in the run for presidency. Adonijah, Absalom, and David. And I need to give you a warning here that many of the words that I'm about to speak and I'm, I'm beginning to speak are in parabolic format. And there is a reason for that. He said he has increased similitudes by the ministry of the prophet. And there are many people who watch this broadcast home and abroad and even in the government. So I'm giving them homework by themselves and so they can come and also look for counsel. We are representing the kingdom of God here. We are not a news channel. Uh, neither are we uh, uh, in, in profit. So we, we can't be swayed. If, if there will be need to clarify, then there has to be uh, a need for honor. And that is why we have to less this. But the church and the people who are spiritual will begin to pick up quick, especially people here who are prophetic. I said again, the church should pray. And the reason for the prayer is that the contention of loyalty will lie in the church and it will come from the political sector and it will be Absalom and his father David. Number three, Adonijah is about to rise. On that part one, there are three personalities as I've explained. Absalom, Adonijah, and David. All of these are in one camp. They're in, the, they're in one kingdom. They're in one house. So you will see that before the close of the year and by the time we are getting to April 2021 you will see a very strong contention as it regards those two those two David and Absalom Adonijah by that time in April 2021 would have fallen by the wayside and um, that is why I'm going to stop on that one. Because I don't want to build a case and then begin to reveal some things that I'm not ready for. Number two, pray for the Rift Valley. This is a repeat word. The Spirit of the Lord told me it is not drums of war that are beating or that are going to beat. But it is going to be vindictive. A protest vote is about to come out of the Rift Valley. And this is what he said in the parable. He said this to the, the Spirit of God. He says, pray for the Rift Valley. It is not drums of war, but it is vindictive pro protest vote to fail a perception. It's either you get it or we all lose. It is either you get it or we all lose. It is a, vo a protest vote to fail a perception. I'll leave it that. I'll leave that there. I'm not going to explain it for today. Number three. National Prophecies for Kenya. In November 2020. November 2020. There shall be a major fallout. In the open. In the ruling coalition. That is Jubilee. You and I know it. In November 2020. There shall be a major fallout. In the open, when I mean in the open, what you're already seeing is a titbit and it's a sign. And it is because people are, are, are galvanizing their camp 
and um, they are trying never to split the nation open right now because if they do and come out in the open it will make um, it will divide the nation and it will put a lot of political temperatures up and so by the time November is coming whatsoever that has been gluing that coalition together and I speak this as a mouthpiece of God he said this to me there will be a major fallout in the open in the ruling coalition and then he says the silence the silence of no major announcement is getting ready to shout the plan for the alternative the silence of no major announcement is getting ready to shout the plan for the alternative. Please be writing if you are writing. Be diligent. In November 2020, watch the news. Watch your news very, very, very uh, carefully that entire month because you will begin to see a lot of this, what I'm talking to you about here. A major fallout in the open. In the open. Mark that word in the open. Number four, this one is about a politician. Another politician shall be arrested in early November for a public utterance in the day, that particular day in a rally. That's what I saw. I see a name and a position. And this is still in the Rift Valley. It will make headlines. When I mean in the Rift Valley, that could be the source of the utterance, but also that could be the source, uh, the place of residence or origin. So I'm scattering that truth there so that uh, the Bible declared it is the glory of God to hide a thing and it is the glory of kings to search out a matter. So you go and search it out. Another politician shall be arrested. You shall see that in early November. And even before early November, there is coming, I see a threat. I see a threat, uh, uh, not really a threat, you would say, but a public, almost like a public order act. is a riot act being read by the commissioner of police, if you may, the, the what do they call him? The general uh, uh, chief of police in the nation of Kenya. My, my mind is very far now, so I can't really recall the name, but uh, it should be something general. Yeah, uh, uh, I see him coming into, right now as I'm talking to you, I see a media and uh, uh, media gathered and Mutembe, the general, is giving up a presser and he's talking about that uh, act as it regards the constitution and then utterance will come out there that is going to ring true to many politician, politicians and they're going to answer back and it is in that type of answering, it is in that type of answering it is in that type of um, retort. And notice the words I am using here. Is, uh, it, it is like trying to, to spite what was said in that presser. It is coming very soon, you will see. One, two, three, four. Number five. Pray for the capital city of Nairobi. I saw a, an under ground group some place I won't mention here that is forming and because they know that the intelligence could be peeping through what's up they are not on social media per se as it regards grouping uh, or what's up group they have an, another method and I will also not mention it here but it's fomenting protests after the full opening of the nation. So if the president will announce uh, the economy and the flattening of the curve whatsoever, whatsoever, uh, it's, no longer not, it's no longer news that the prophecies we gave as regards COVID-19, they have all come to pass. So I'm not going to belabor the point. I want us to give thanks for God will never fail and he will never, fall, he will never allow his word to fall on the ground. Not just my word, but the words of many other men of God, prophets, apostles in this country, intercessors, who depicted by the Spirit of God and put governance in the Spirit that this thing should live by September. 
So pray for the capital because there is an undergroup, underground group that is grouping itself together from the roots and then fomenting uh, protests after the full opening of the nation. And right in that protest, you know, moving in the city and protesting and placards and signages and a um, lot of noise and stuff. It will be in the guise of corruption. Yes, but it will be sponsored. This is something that is sponsored. And I won't go further than that because I know the government is watching. I won't go further than that. It, but it is sponsored. And uh, whoever will come uh, from the government, I will be able to to verify and tell them what I had the Lord say regarding that matter because it will look very simple. It will look like a scattering by, by tear gas and um, anti-riot but it is not going anywhere. Yes. Yes. There is a spirit I saw that came from a place um, in the Middle East that has um, a potential of uh, invading that type of a group. And I'm not talking about terrorism here. I am talking about um, organization. And I'm talking about articulating points. And I'm talking about relentless protestations. Just as it were in the days when there was no handshake. When there was continuous and continuous and continuous protestation. I will leave that there. It's already a clear uh, indicator of what if you are uh, uh, wiser you would know what I'm talking about. Number six, the rest to state house is an already decided rest by heaven. Notice what I'm saying. The rest to state house is an already decided rest by heaven. Third time, the rest to state house is an already decided rest by the heaven. And I saw in the realm of the spirit, men that will beat their chest in pride for the next one and a half years, saith the Lord. And then the spirit of the Lord talked to me. I wrote it in the first person. And I, the Lord, will show myself in the day they expect not. The rest to state house is an already decided rest by heaven. But men will beat their chest in pride for the next one and a half years. For the next one and a half years. So if you can count now to the next year 2021, um, a, a, a year from now, that will be September 2021, and then count the next half. You shall see because the Spirit of the Lord told me, I will show myself on the day many expect not. And this, I assure you, this number six is the number of man. What I'm talking to you here is an entire page of prophecy. But I'm not building it up now. I will come to, to all these as we move along when the Spirit of the Lord will release certain information that we are seeking in uh, in the particles of heaven. But this what I'm talking to you here. For the next one and a half years, uh, you will see a lot of beating of chest. And there's another word that is coming up. I'm going to read it to you. That is concerning number six also. All this is intertwined. Uh, uh, and because I'm dealing with a mixed congregation and not a closed group uh, and people that I know uh, prophetically speaking, I won't be able to belabor this point or belabor this prophecy. But when I sit with people who understand governance and uh, structures, not just in the kingdom but in government, they already know what I'm talking about and there is much to it than what I'm sharing. But I want you, generally speaking, the body of Christ to watch carefully. That in the next one and a half years, one and a half years, Kenya, it will be full of politicians who will beat their chest. Here. In other words, they know. They know how it will end. They have the power. They have the coalition. They have the whatever it is that they usually say. And then the Lord says, I shall show myself on the day. He didn't say in the month. On the day. Notice. 
I want you to mark that is a prophetic clue on the day, on the day, on the day. Many expect not. So that is already a clue I'm giving to you. You're the lifter of my soul. Your name is Jesus. We're going to pray tonight for the country. Your name is Jesus. He's the lifter of my soul. He's the lifter of my soul. His name is Jesus. Jesus, wait a minute, Jesus, Jesus, he is the same Savior of my soul. He's the Savior of my soul. I don't know if there is a person here who has a scar on their tummy. And whether this is a woman or a man, but he went through a process. Whether that will be giving birth, this word is coming back again. It seems to me there is a person or persons watching me tonight here. That there is a lot of pain in your body. And exactly on the scar where they did a surgery or a kind of a pr procedure on you. The power of God, as I was singing, I downloaded. And the power of God is healing you right now, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus. He is the Savior, the Savior of my soul. I see stitches. I see stitches on someone's body. And that scar has been irritating. It's been irritating. Very painful and irritating. There is a comfort that is coming now by the anointing. The Spirit of God is ministering to me to tell you. It will no longer be there. It will no longer be there. This is the night that that pain goes. And anyone with pain in their body right now. I see someone. I think this is something to do with your feet. This is something to do with your feet. In the name that is above every other name. I don't know if Jackie is here. But the word of God comes to you, Jackie. If you will watch this, or if you're here, or if you're not. By the hand of God, we curse in the name of Jesus. Any type of sugar diabetes, pressure, in the mighty name of the Lord. We command the power of God to deal with the insulin level. To deal with any condition in your body. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is another person, a yoke has just been broken. Off of your neck, off of your neck, in the name of the Lord. Leski Bradola Varaske Ena Mahai, Sede Behosha, Kempraskula Varara, Se Ena Katashke, Bentolomana, Bresku, Bradalia, Skina Nama Antoloba, in the name of Jesus. Rahma, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Lay your hand there by the hand of God while that anointing is ministering to you. In the name of Jesus, as it flows now, it comes to your direction. And I command any pain on your body, go now. Go now, now, in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You see, we came for prophecy. Suddenly, we are dealing with, uh, uh, with healing. Anyone with an ear that is popping uh, comes, comes, uh, you, you hear, you don't hear. It looks like there is uh, like almost like a liquid on your left ear. The power of God is popping, is busting that thing open now, is unstopping any kind of uh, uh, whether it is deafness, whether it is infection, any irritation on your ear in the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost be healed now, be healed now in the name of Jesus. Elizabeth, put your hand on your feet now. Put your hand on your feet in the name of Jesus. 
he was wounded for your transgression the chastisement yes was placed on him yes the chastisement of your peace was laid upon him and by his stripes he was healed you are healed 2000 years ago anyone here with anything on their body he speaks to you directly now in the name of Jesus if you can exercise your faith you are healed exercise your faith exercise your faith now check for that pain is not gonna be there it's not gonna be there it's not gonna be there well I, I, I really have to, to deal with this tonight otherwise we will fly into a different direction number seven the coalition of Pharisees, the one I talked to you about. And if you're new here, you've not seen this, please go to YouTube, go to the website, go to uh, on Facebook, scroll down. You will see videos of prophecy, uh, June, uh, from April, June. You will see what I'm talking about here, especially on number seven. living stones when you're in throne as you raise the coalition of Pharisees shall pride itself in the choice of Adonijah did you hear that the coalition of Pharisees is in the country now shall pride itself in the choice of Adonijah and let the hand that so you raise nose bleeding anyone with a constricted nose that comes as a result of an allergy due to cold weather the hand of God is on you I see some people here bleeding uh, by reason of cold and constricted should be a blood vessel right there and especially when there is an issue when there is an issue in your mind as it regards stress, anxiety, panic attacks, you nose bleed. That well gets dried up now in the name of Jesus. We your temple. Would you worship him with me together in a, in a moment? Give you reverence. He said, I will show mistress by the hand of the stringed instrument. So to your rest and be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace. Now your presence now feel Display. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Your presence makes us whole tonight. See, I don't know about you, but for me, it doesn't take me much to get drunk doesn't really take me much to get drunk in the spirit. The coalition of Pharisees shall pride itself in the choice of Adonijah. Yet David shall reign at last in 2022. The coalition of Pharisees shall pride itself in the choice of Adonijah. In the choice of Adonijah. Okay, let me let me let me let me just give you a clue here because um, you know I just heard in the spirit there are people talking right there where you are. Uh, several of you people are talking and they're wondering um, why can't he speak plainly? Why is he not speaking plainly? I just heard you. Uh, the the coalition of Pharisees shall pride itself in the choice of Adonijah. In the choice of Adonijah. 
Yet David shall reign at last in 2022. The coalition of Pharisees shall pride itself in the choice of Adonijah. I want you to watch. I want you to watch Dr. Mukisa Kitui. Because I will tell you here by the Spirit of God, he is a donager. That is the clue I will give you now. I've mentioned a name. I want you to watch that for the next one and eight months. The coalition of Pharisees shall pride itself in the choice of a donager. Shall pride itself in the choice of a donager. There is a lot of gameplay that is getting ready to usher him in. And because in Kenya, as it regards the politics of this country, you have to be ushered in. It is like a cult. You've got to be initiated. That, whatever coalition, that will begin to initiate him to get into the presidential race and even to run for 2022. Hear me, church, and hear me well. It doesn't matter who you will vote for. It doesn't matter where you lie it, as it regards now for your choice. I am speaking from the office of the prophet. And I'm speaking as one who is apolitical or apolitical. I, I will, I, I, unless the Lord tells me, unless the Lord tells me otherwise, I will stick to what he has already said. He is a donager. Yet, yet, hear me, David shall reign at last. I said at the beginning of the year 2020, in the month of January by prophecy, that the coming election in 2022 is about faith and values. Faith and values. Notice the order, not values and faith. No, faith and values. And I will leave that there for you to begin to interpret. A lot of prophecies that are here now are giving you spiritual homework for you to stand on your watch. As I said earlier, he's calling for watchmen, not hearers. That is why it might be hard for you to write because you're actually trying to decipher. It's giving you homework spiritually. Number eight, as early as October, there shall be political rallies and mass in counting uh, in counties agitating for the BBI. That one is coming in the month of October, coming month. You will see many political rallies that will be running towards uh, the BBI or running with the BBI. Now watch carefully. I see an announcement. That will predict the divide right after that announcement. All this is leading to that big fallout in November. As early as October, coming month, October, then November. There will be political rallies that will be agitating for, not against, for. Immediately there, that shall be uh, an announcement that will predict the fallout i see an announcement that will predict the divide right after that announcement so there is a specific announcement that i'm holding on to that i'm not gonna say but number eight and number nine what i'm about to read to you is connected to what i've spoken to you regarding november number nine now let's go to it then you will you will paint the picture the delay with the BBI handover. Hear me? The delay with the BBI handover. In other words, the report that is supposed to be handed over to the president is deliberate. Did you hear that? It is deliberate. And this is what the Lord showed me. It is primed for a season that is fertile with political advantage. 
it is primed I, I show really I can't really break down further than that but it is being primed for a season that is fertile with political advantage in other words its announcement and its handing over publicly whether that will be with media whether that will be of course media will be there it is because at that particular time when your eyes shall see the breaking news or the announcement from state house or an address or a ceremony with that kind uh, where the president will get um, a bundle of those reports and shake hands and every other thing and uh, uh, with um, the former prime minister and whoever it is will be there not church not carefully it will be because that season is fertile with political advantage and then comma the lord said yet therein shall the folly be seen therein shall be the shall the folly be seen especially of men who have taken to themselves to control the narrative yet therein shall the folly be seen or their folly be seen especially of men and this is not all politicians and this is not all the political class but there is a bunch as you already know that have taken to themselves to control the narrative you would wonder how how does that even connect does that make even make sense how keep watching connect with what i've said as of early october there shall be a political rally or political rallies will be en masse it's coming in the next month and just so you know by the way by the time we are hitting that october there will be an announcement by the president and there'll be an announcement uh, uh, from the Ministry of Health as it regards the case of COVID-19 and as it regards the opening up of the economy. Watch this September as we head towards the turn to the month of October. All this will begin, you see, in the prophetic, and I, I really am avoiding to teach while I'm speaking this, but it's important because I know we are a mixed congregation. We are headed towards Canaan. We are all out of Egypt, but it's a mixed congregation. And people have different level of spiritual understanding and maturity. So I need to break down a bit and tell you that in the prophetic, when God begins to speak, there are specific words that is a tirade. And um, the mystery is that when he will speak one word, it will light upon Israel. So he will speak to Jacob, but he's speaking generationally to a nation. When he speaks a mystery, inside the mystery is the functions of dimensions right inside one mystery. Come up hither and I will show you. Zechariah, uh, Nehemiah, especially together with uh, Isaiah and, uh, and, and Jeremiah. What seest thou, son of man? He said, I see an almond tree. In another place, he says, I see a, a, a flying scroll. And then he begins to decipher that. And you find an entire chapter out of one vision. So hold on there. I do want to, to, to route this to a teaching uh, in the prophetic. Number 10. Number 10, this is about a personality. Pray for the health of a presidential candidate in 2022. Now notice we are in 2020. So you are bound to forget this. I don't want you to forget. So I'll come back again. Pray for the health of a presidential candidate in 2022. I see incidences, not one, incidences concealed by security and their secretariat concerning them, concerning their health. But eventually they fall off the rest due to to an health issue due to a health issue so I need you to pray there will be eight candidates just so you know 
I said this before, I have repeated it for those who have been here consistently. The people who are going to run for the presidency in the first place, there will be eight in the forefront. Then it will reduce. It will come, it, they will begin to almost merge by themselves until it comes to the two. But you will see a coalition of four in patterns. The patterns of four, four to make eight. But then the four will begin to merge right inside and make a, a coalition. And then it will break down. I've already said this before. Uh, it will come to the two. If you want to go, you can go back to the videos. Um, uh, you, they have titles on national prophecies, especially on the month of June and July. Pray for the health of that presidential candidate and I will come and mention their name when God releases me too uh, in the coming months, in the coming months, in the coming months. Number 11, there shall rise, now this is very deep now, and I want you to pay attention. There shall rise soul for the nation. You remember King Saul? There shall rise a soul for the nation. Now remember what I said about Adonijah, about Absalom, and about David. Here comes again, it is an, it is an emphasis, it is an emphasis, uh, an emphasis rather, uh, with something that I'm about to read to you. It is an emphasis. There shall rise soul for the nation, comma. Yet David is the heavenly choice for the nation of Kenya. Now the church, here comes, the church should midwife. What I mean midwife is pray into his presidency from now. The church should midwife and pray into his presidency from now. And he says, this is the condition. If the result should be David, if the result should be David, the body of Christ should midwife his presidency now. And then he said, it is not going to be a walk in the park. And he gave me a scripture. Righteousness exalts a nation. Righteousness exalts a nation. Notice the responsibility for what we will call the president and his government from 2022 moving down or onwards. It is solely in the hands of the church in Kenya. Forget numbers, forget uh, political staking, and uh, reach, uh, reach, and I'm going to read that for a moment. I think it should be somewhere here. Forget that. The church will midwife the president or the presidency from 2022. If they don't do that, then Saul shall sit in the place of David. Now, remember, in the biblical order, Saul came before David. Remember that. And yet, when David had become king, Adonijah and his other son, Absalom, came and began to frustrate the kingdom of David. So those who have an ear and they know their Bible can begin to decipher already where this word is headed. And yet the Lord has preserved a window for the, hear me now, this is prophecy. The Lord has preserved a window in the coming year 2021 and 2022. There is a very small window, especially in the month of January 2022. A very small window because what is coming out of the BBI and the agitation to amend the constitution will tilt that window. It will tilt that window. Notice what I said regarding the delay in the BBI handover report. I said it is being primed for political advantage. For a season that is fertile with political advantage. Pay attention to what I'm saying and may the Lord give us understanding. 
The church should midwife the presidency. And notice what I began with. If the church will never pray and galvanize together and put up a one voice, the contention is with the church. It will be a case of divided loyalty. And that will give rise to soul rising. Soul. Number 12. The son of the bondwoman shall not reign in the stead of Isaac, saith the Lord. The son of the bondwoman, in other words, I will not really decipher, but uh, I, uh, for the people who know their word very well, this is speaking of a different faith. The son of a bondwoman, that is the only clue I can give you, shall not reign in the stead of Isaac. And when I mention Isaac, I know you know what I mean now. But the best part of this is this. That God said, and he spoke to me and he said, that he has covenants with many in this land of Kenya. And that he's about to honor their faith, their prayer, and fulfill the covenant that he cut with them. He has covenants that this country will not be handed over to the son of the bondwoman. Glory to God. That, that, that's a good one. That's a good one because you've not seen what I have seen. Do you know, let me tell you, do you know there is a possibility that the Sultan uh, uh, governor for Mombasa can be a deputy president. Do you know that? So when I say I've, uh, you, you've not seen what I've seen, I'm speaking from the prophetic office. There could be a possibility that the running mate and, and, and that the choice of the VP could be coming from that faith. And there is nothing wrong with that faith. Please hear me. We fight for diversity, yes, but we fight more for the will of God. And so I'm speaking here not to discard any faith or to go into uh, 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 issues of discrimination. But I'm speaking here that the son of the bondwoman will not reign in the stead of Isaac. That is what I heard the Lord say. That is what I heard the Lord say. Number 13, the election in 2022 will have a lot of liturgy. There is liturgy towards voting in the coming election. Yet the most, uh, the most vote, the most rich regions in terms of vote will not play ball. They won't follow. And they won't vote the way it is expected. The Lord said, I shall fool the people. This is a word he repeated in January of 2020. There is liturgy that is coming. And we need to pray because the enemy can take advantage of that to put up his agenda. And so I will come to... to uh, the responsibility of the church and the body as it regards this liturgy. Because there are people who are going to abscond and many of them will be absconding by reason of professional advice or they will be looking, they will be looking up to examples of men who will be coming out to say they are not going to vote and it is, uh, they don't care. Liturgy is coming. And we need to pray as a church so that we can ride on that and force the hand of the enemy backward as it regards the seat of power. You will see what I'm saying to you because by the time we are getting to voting, the nation and especially uh, you would say the electoral commission, the electoral commission uh, uh, um, uh, IEBC would have said as it regards the registration. Yes. Many are going to sit at home. Many, many millions, if not thousands, if not millions of people 
are not going to vote in 2022. And that needs prayer, not excitement. It needs prayer because it is at that particular space that the enemy can press in and take advantage. And I'm speaking to the body now, to the, to the church. Number 14, post-COVID. The nation shall, there is a spirit that I saw coming into the nation post-COVID. And it is connected to number 13. But it will begin early. It is a spite for governance and the rule of law. And I must warn the body and I must warn you, which is you and I forming the body of Christ. Don't fall into this temptation. It is a spite for the rule of law. And we need to pray because I see many despising government. Many. And applying themselves to what seems right by their eyes. And this they are picking uh, from the example of the leadership of the country. So post-COVID, you will see a lot of spite for the rule of law. And you see, this will give the enemy a chance to, be, to bring a, a lot of political witch hunt and a lot, a lot of arrests and a lot of, uh, you would say, state power or machinery getting into play. So you will see police everywhere, GSU everywhere, uh, this protest, that protest, this meeting, that meeting. And people will be despising government. It is not right for the body and the church to do that. But you will see that in the coming days. Don't join that bandwagon. It will be a sign for the things to come. It is a spite for the rule of law. And this will make the government strong arm, especially the state. When I mean the state, that is uh, law enforcement. Especially law enforcement. Society, I'm going to read a couple of them and then we are going to uh, finish uh, the, uh, the minutes that are remaining we want to pray tonight for the, for the nation Jesus, Jesus how I love you trust thee how I've proved you and oh Jesus, Jesus Precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust in oh, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him by his word, just to know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. How I love him. Pray for a music artist. And this music artist is known for what they call out there Genge music. Or Genge, I won't say Genge tone because that is modern, but it is Genge, is a, is a patriarch uh, 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 um, uh, in that sector uh, of art. I saw sudden sickness, and we are praying for preservation of life, and they will be preserved by grace. A music artist known for Genge music. Something sudden happens to them and it affects their health uh, and it affects their life. And then number two, I saw a, a, a projection of arson. Uh, this is burning places and burning buildings and, and uh, 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 burning uh, 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 through revenge. It, it's something strange, but I saw a family set on fire. I saw a family set on fire and um, 
These are two regions I saw Kiambu and I saw Kisi. And it is a strong spirit of revenge and a lot of vindictiveness. Seems to me like it is settling scores over something. And we bind that demonic spirit in the name of the Lord. We decree and declare salvation. We decree and declare peace. We decree and declare peace. Before the fact, not after the fact. In the name of Jesus, we deploy the hand of God over Kisi and Kiambu. It's a spirit of revenge. Now, number three, what I'm about to read to you here is something, is a, a, is a family you know. And I heard by the Spirit, pray for the Keroches family. Yeah, you know Keroche breweries? Yes. That family, I see something that I would not announce here and now, but they will be in the news again. I see that them come coming coming up before me. It, it, they are coming into the news again. I I wouldn't say I don't want to go into the details as to what that is. But um, it is our responsibility to pray for the nation and to the society. The balance, the the energy balance that is supposed to galvanize the society and put it at peace is with the body. If we don't practice priesthood and if we don't practice to be the salt of the earth, the energy balance, the energy balance will be tampered with and the enemy will have a free course and a laugh uh, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a walk in the park as it regards the nation. So pray for the Karocha's family. Pray for the Kerocha's family. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. See, um, I deliberately slowed down today because of what I'm hearing in the Spirit. Because of what I'm hearing in the Spirit. See, in the coming days, especially the 90 days closing to December, what is coming into the country is something the church can be able to stop. And um, all political, and it is, a, it is almost like a hand getting to be turned to a, 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 a direction that it does not want to go willingly. And that comes with influence. And I say this because there are certain quarters of politicians in this country and they're sitting in government and I'm speaking directly now from the president's party from the coalition that is there that is set to put a tone and a certain tone and to put an agenda that wants to influence not 2022, no to influence the entire generation for the next 10 years and they have right intention and they have the, the nation at heart but I will tell you God looks at the heart. The intentions of the heart are bare before him. There is a conspiracy that is getting ready to come out of the BBI report. And it looks very politically correct. It looks like it is nationhood. And it will look like it is coalescing this country towards a greater shared prosperity as they say and all that sounds right sounds correct sounds very political and sounds that is coming from a good heart but I see by the spirit it is an agenda and it is a conspiracy to direct the affairs of the nation 
for the next 10 years. Oh, yeah, yes, oh, yes, yes, yeah, 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 my soul says yes, yeah, yeah. I want you to take time and begin to pray now for the things I've already spoken. Pray for the nation. Pray for the president. I have said so many things tonight and I said many other things in the video in the month of June. If you combine these messages together, you'll begin to see the picture as to what the prophet is saying. Yeah. Faith and values. Faith and values. Faith and values. Pray for 2022. Faith and value that David will rise. That Adonijah will not reign in his stead. That Saul will not come before. Dave, Saul will not be picked up because in his anger, God can give us all. Because the country is getting ready to have a soul, not a David. And hear me, and hear me strong. I need to mention a name here. Whether the deputy president, that is Dr. Ruto, if he is taken out of the picture as it regards not running, there is still an agenda for Saul to reign. Even if him is not David, even if the deputy president is not David, there is an agenda to bring Saul to the picture. And the, and the Spirit of the Lord told me to tell you and to tell the body to prepare and to prepare in prayer. Because in his anger, he can release Saul. And in his wrath, he will take him out. That's all I will release tonight as it regards that matter. Because there is a possibility that if the body of Christ, and generally speaking, the whole body of Christ in the country of Kenya, will not put together a formidable priesthood practice and pray the will of God into state house and galvanize the numbers. If Saul rises, hear me and hear me strong, God will take him out. He said in the book of Malachi, it should be Hosea in Malachi, he said, I gave in his anger, he gave a king in his wrath, he took him away. So I have said these things in 2020. And I've said these things tonight in uh, 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 September 14th, 2020. So that you can be able to know. And you will not say that you did not know. The Spirit of God is giving us, uh, is giving us direct access to the mind of the enemy using the politics of the country. So I would like you to open up your mouth and pray. Pray now for the peace of this country. Pray now for every candidate who's going to run. You may not know them, know them, but pray that God will find a David. Will find a David. I've got so much to share, but I will be sharing them. I told you this entire week is the week for the nation of Kenya as it regards society, politics, governance. So we've begun today. There will be another bunch coming tomorrow. There will be another bunch coming on Wednesday. There will be another bunch coming on, Friday, on, Saturday, on, on Thursday. And lastly on Friday night on the prophetic service. So pay attention and be here. I would like you to open up your mouth and pray. Pray that this nation will not be sold to the dogs. It will not be handed over to men with appetites. Men with appetites. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Say yes to your will tonight. Say yes to your will tonight. We say yes to your will tonight. Adonijah will not reign in the stead of David. 
Absalom will not reign in the stead of David. Kalimesku bradila varana meloske paradash kenekemeni anama ananoska. I already said to you, and I'm just repeating this, that the deputy president, that is Dr. Ruto, will lead the no movement. I said this before. Before there was any announcement, before there is any uh, thing coming out as it regards the BBI, before he had already said, before, before he had made any announcement, uh, politically speaking, of the many things that he's been saying this past week, this past month, I already mentioned to you here so you're getting ready to see a no movement that is gonna be led by him a no movement and I'm talking as it regards the BBI I already said this also this is a repeat it is not uh, fresh we say yes to his will tonight we are seeking the counsel of God we are putting prayer in the bank we are seeking him as watchmen. We are watching over our governance system. We are not aloof. We are not prejudicial. We are not prejudiced. We are not going to be uh, uh, so much politically agitated and leaning towards an agenda that we want. We want his agenda. We want God's agenda. He said, I have found David, a man after my own heart. A man after my own heart. That should be your prayer. Not your political correctness or appetite or your political leaning. No. Find me a David. He said, take this bottle of oil. Go to Rama. Why would you spend time, Samuel, and cry over soul? Seeing I have rejected him. Go to Rama. I have found me a king. Go to Rama. I have found me a king. Go to Rama. I have found me a king. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Even so, even so. Even so tonight, even so. See, this nation will only be safe. In the hands of David. Because the dispensation has changed. In the year 2022. The dispensation would have already changed. As it regards the generation. That wants to be led. The generation that wants to be led. There are people. Who are sitting pretty. Knowing that they are fixed 2022. And the spirit of the Lord said. He will fool the people. He said that in January, uh, in December 31st, uh, uh, 30th, 2019, that in 2022, he will fool the people. And those who are sitting pretty, thinking they have all put it together, gathered the numbers, galvanized resources. They are in for a rude shock, sir. They are in for a rude shock. They are in for a rude shock. God will be at the center stage of the elections in 2022. God will be at the center stage of uh, the election in 2022. Pay attention to what I've said. God will be at the center stage. At the center stage. And so we thank God for what he is about to do. We want to pray one more prayer tonight. And we're going to ask God for grace. We're going to ask God for grace. There's a lot I have kept for the week. I'm not going to release them in, in this one night. I, I want you to come tomorrow online again. And the next day up until Friday. You've not heard so much uh, of what I want to share. Of the many things that, you want, uh, that the, the Spirit of the Lord wants you to be aware of. And to put you to work as it regards prayer. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. This nation needs God. It needs God. There's a lot of... There's a lot... Um, let me not just say for today. I will say it tomorrow. There are some names as we go along I'm going to mention uh, in the politics and in the society that you're going to see. 
thank you, Father. We thank you for tonight. We thank you for the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. The righteous run into it. The righteous run into it. Mm. People need the Lord. People need the Lord. At the end of broken dreams. That's a prophetic song. It's a prophetic song. This is for the nation. Is the open door. People need the Lord. People need the Lord. When will we realize that people need the Lord? Thank you, Father. You're about to witness a lot of council of elders. Council of elders from certain communities coming and uh, putting a pressers together. Putting a lot of pressers together. And this will come even as the BBI report gets out and it is handed over. You will see a lot of uh, the enduring jackets um, that are uh, the, uh, not really the Talai, but the Kalenjin community also coming together as elders. Uh, the Kikuyu community, the Gema community coming together. And you will see um, a Miji Kenda formulated from um, uh, uh, what do you call um, uh, the Wazes, the elders from that end. And it will be a sign. It will be a sign. It is going to be a sign of things to come. It will be a sign of things to come. Because there will be... You see, the, the problem with our politics is it, it, it is galvanized in repetition. And God wants to break that cycle of repetition. Doing the same thing the same way. And uh, getting endorsed the same way. There is an endorsement that is about to sit on a candidate from heaven and there will be it will be it will be looking as if as if and i'm taken into the race it will look as if they're not gonna win i'm in the i'm in the politics now and i'm in the election now by the spirit right now as i'm seated here it will look as if they're not gonna win but suddenly it will turn Just as it was in the days of Trump and that woman, uh, 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 Hillary. It will look exactly like that because there will be a turn. Must give our lives for people need. People need the Lord, yeah. It will look exactly like that. Thank you, Father. Blessed be thy holy name. Amen and amen. People need the Lord, yes. Amen and amen. Well, we got to stop there tonight. God bless each and every one of you. We are, we are not going to go... Um, Victoria, I have been trying to put this to the end of the week, um, but I think there's a there's a there's a there's a person here, there's a lady here. I know Victoria. I have a word for you, and I'm not gonna speak the whole of it, but I sense in the spirit that there is there is an open door that is gonna come to. Um, I know where you are. I'm not going to mention a lot of the issues as it regards Denmark. But Victoria, hear me. The word of the Lord is in is is coming to you as it regards the US over it seems to me 
that there is a dealing that is coming to you, a dealing by the Spirit that you will have to move into the U.S. for some time. And this could be coming in the coming year, Victoria. And um, in and out of the U.S., there is something God wants to release. There is something God wants to release over your life, Victoria. Um, and I see, it seems to me like the family is sitting and they're discussing the issue of you going or getting out to the U.S. People need the Lord. Yes, yeah, yeah. Vicky, Vicky are you here? At the end of broken dreams He's the open door Thank you, Father. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor does it come from the south. But God is the judge. He putteth one up and he pulls another one down. That is Psalm 75 from verse 6. And I have repeated this word by the prophetic uh, utterance. And it seems to me like it is coming now again. I'm really trying to run into something here uh, from something. But it keeps on coming. This is for the nation of Kenya. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup. And the wine is red. And it is full of mixture. He pours it out to the country and to the nation. And he says, but the dregs thereof, the dregs thereof in that cup, all the wicked as it regards corruption. I am, I am I'm really getting agitated spiritually here. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked as it regards the corrupt of the country and in the nation of Kenya. He will wring it out. In other words, he will squeeze it out and they will drink it. He will squeeze it out and he, they will drink it. But I will declare forever, the nation shall be declared free of corruption. And we shall sing praises unto our God, the God of Jacob. Hear me. All the horns of the wicked, he will cut off but the horn of the righteous shall be exalted. That is the word of the Lord regarding corruption in the country of Kenya. There are many convictions coming, even before the elections. And many shall be tainted, saith the Lord. They will be tainted, they will not run. They will not run from the lowest of office to the highest of office in the country. I repeat again, in the hand of the Lord, there is a cup. And the wine is red. It is full of mixture. He is going to pour it out in the country of Kenya. The mixture of that is judgment. And he is dealing with corruption. The dregs from that cup is like a dipped clothing inside wine or inside paint or inside a liquid. And he will squeeze that one. And many will be drunk out of it. That is prophetic language I'm sure you're following. He said, but I will declare even unto the nation of Kenya that praises shall be unto the God of Jacob. We shall sing praises unto him. And then he says, all the horns of the wicked he will cut off, but the horns of the, of the righteous shall be exalted. You are about to witness the rising up of the church and the rising up of a righteous remnant out of the church that is going to execute judgment in the courts of the kings of the earth in the nation of Kenya. Hear me and hear me strong. When the righteous shall rule, the nation of Kenya shall be known as the Oak of Africa. O-A-K. Oak of Africa. Oak of Africa. When the righteous shall rule in the country, 
the country shall be called the oak of Africa. Kate pesola bahana katalia, lerebeko sovrahana kadalia, zembekon taki mikidala. Would you pray? Open up your mouth and just pray now. Zedebeko sha lebresko tani gabania. People need the Lord. We've got about ten minutes. People need the Lord. At the end of broken dreams is the open door. My, my, my. People need the Lord. Oh, yes. People need when will we realize he will hasten to perform it apostle he will hasten to perform it people need the Lord yeah 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 thank you father thank you father we give you glory get your offering out the ministry number is there. You know it by now. If you're doing that by PayPal, you're doing it by uh, from the website. Whatever it is, let us honor God tonight. Let us honor God tonight. Especially for men and women who have cried to God today and have been in fasting. Uh, for joy riders in the ministry and just those who come in and uh, uh, whatever it is, you can tap into uh, a, a dimension just by your offering. But I will tell you, for men who are crying out to God is because they are hungry for something. And they are fasting in their own grace by the grace of God that has been given unto them. God honors their faith. God honors their faith. It's a mixed congregation so I know what I'm dealing with. Uh, that is why that fasting is open. Yeah. It's a mixed congregation. Let us get our offerings out. Father, we ask for every giver not only to bless them but make that which men chase after, chase after them. Let them seek, be at rest and seek after the kingdom and its righteousness and not after money. As they honor you tonight, as they honor you tonight, make that which men chase after, chase after them. In the name of Jesus, let the tables turn. Let the tables turn. I hear that now. Let the tables turn. They are going to turn in the name of Jesus. There is a very strong favor on women here. There is a very strong, I hear by the Spirit. Hear me. Hear me women. Hear me. Hear me ladies. Please get a company. I just heard by the Spirit. If you don't have a company registered, get, a, get one way or another. Get onto Facebook. Get onto a friend or something. Ask them if they know how to register one. Get onto Facebook. There are many companies, uh, people who help people uh, register a company. And it's about 5,000 or 6,000 or uh, at most, whatever it is. But register a company. Women get into groupings, whatever it is. Get a company going. Whether that's a sole proprietorship, whether that is an, L, an, NL, an LLC limited liability company, whether that is LLP li limited liability partnership, or it's just a company. I hear by this, and this is now the prophecy, the prophecy out of the instruction to get a company registered. I hear by the spirit that in the next coming three years, 2021, 2022, 2023, it is going to be grace that is going to be laddened, laddened with potential and possibilities for the women. And you will see a lot of women rise. A lot, as a matter of fact, you are about to watch in the news an interview of almost what they will call Kenya's first, not just millionaire woman. Mm -mm. In dollars, in dollars, it will be a sign that what I've spoken to you is by the Spirit of God. So get something that is legal in the government. Register your presence there. I hear by the Spirit, there is a space that is going to open in the Spirit for the country and for the women everywhere, whether it is in this jurisdiction 
or outside, home and abroad, hear me? Get something going. Because there will be opportunities that are strongly geared towards women. And you will see that by the sign, and this is the sign, that woman is going to be uh, uh, featured as the first woman millionaire in dollars, not in shillings. In dollar, first woman. At the end of broken dreams, they will say that is a first woman, but it will not really be like the first woman because there are others who are in hiding or they've been featured before. But this one, this particular one I see by the spirit is a young woman. Is a young woman. Actually under the age, under, 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 not beyond, under 40. Is a woman under 40. Is a woman under 40. That is your sign. Woman, women, that is your sign. That is your sign. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Get your offering out, everybody, please. Let's get our offerings. Let's honor God now. Let's honor God. Let's honor God. Let's honor God. Thank you, Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. We give you glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Cry, our hearts cry. Be magnified in this your holy temple. Let's begin to give now, everybody. Let's honor God. Yeah, oh, we will rise, yeah, to Zion's high. Glorify, unify, and oh, how we love you. Oh, how we praise you. Oh, how we worship you. Oh, Lord, oh, how we love you. Oh, how. We praise you. Oh, how we worship you tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah. Everybody say, Be magnified tonight. Would you get your offering out? Let's begin to worship him. Begin to give, begin to give, begin to give. The presence of the Lord is still here. God is still speaking. And we will rise. Hear me. We give because we love. You cannot love without giving. Yes. There is something about love that will compel you to give. And then giving is also about honor. What we honor first. How we praise you Lord. Yeah. Oh how. Even tonight, oh God, oh how we love you, yes, oh how we praise you tonight, honor the anointing, honor God, honor him with your life, not just with your money, he's not interested in your money more than he's interested with you and with your heart, so we honor him with our life first, and then we honor him with our resources. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh, yes. But he also said, where the, the heart is, is where the possessions of a man are too. 
So the depiction of what you really love is what you hold. Is what you hold. And if you become a thingy person, if you get held up by things and love things and worship things, you become thingified, if you may, if there is a word like that in English. And we make idols out of byproducts of what the kingdom is really about. And that is where Memon came from. As a spirit, it worked itself up into Adam by the desire of the flesh, the pride of life and the appetite from the eyes. Eat from the tree that was goodly looking. And then they, be, they idolized what God had already given. That's a teaching for another day. Begin to give. Continue giving. God bless each and every one of you tonight. Oh, how we love you, Lord. Yes. We worship you. We've got three minutes. Oh, Lord. Oh, how. Oh, how we love you, Lord. Yes. My God, my God. Yes. We worship you tonight. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be thy holy name. We love you to life, each and every one of you. It's a pleasure ministering to you every day, even throughout this fasting. I couldn't seem to fall asleep. There was something on my mind. Searching for that peace But the peace I could not find But then I kneeled down to pray Praying help me please He said you don't have to cry Cause I'll supply all your needs As soon as I stop worrying Worrying about God's story is I let go and I let God The song is called Let Go and Let God That man that, is, that sang that song Was healed by the hand of the man of God Dr. Maurice Sarulo He was HIV positive And that is what inspired the song Let Go and Let God Maurice Sarulo the man who went up to be with the Lord just the other day. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I can find my way. And oftentimes I struggle. Struggle from day to day. I had to realize it's not my battle. Ain't my battle to fight. I know if I kept it in your hands. My God, everything will be alright soon as I stop. Soon as I stop worrying. Oh, I let go and I let God and I let Him have His way. See, that's when things start happening. Oh, yes. Looking at back then. Yes, I let go and I let God, let God have his way. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for tonight. We give you glory. Thank you for this, your people tonight. We thank you because greater is coming, even into their lives. We thank you for each and every one of them, oh God, tonight. Meet them at the point of their need. You are a great God who can simultaneously answer prayer. You don't need time because you exist out of time. You don't need space because you feel every space. You don't need to run because you don't need you created running. We ask in the name of Jesus. As men tonight come boldly even at their time to pray. Answer by fire. Answer by fire. Answer by fire. Lord bring us to a special place. In you as a nation, we ask for this nation, O oh God, let it be ransomed from the hand of the enemy. Let this nation be ransomed 
from the hand of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Every antics of the enemy, it will come to a stop. Any man and woman wicked that has put a stake even on the lives of the people of Kenya for any to step into the place of power. May the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. May the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Put to flight and put to shame. Every hand of the enemy, we come against Jezebelic spirit. We come against every control and manipulation. We come against the swaying by philosophy of men, by money, by exchange of stars with money. We decree and declare, yes, in the name of Jesus, a hit of hell, Jezebel, Ahab, Adonijah, and Absalom will never reign. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. May the purpose of God be made known even to the electorate. We influence by the Spirit. We influence by the Spirit. We influence by the Spirit. The coming election in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We give you glory. In the name of Jesus. I would like you, even tonight as we proceed and whatever time zone you are in, this entire week, pray for the nation of Kenya. Whether you are home and abroad, pray for this country. And uh, remember what I've said, you can get back to this video over and over and use it as a point of reference for you to pray. Because as sure as the Lord lives, and as sure as God has spoken with me for several times, hear me, we need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. So that we can tilt. We can tilt and direct. This nation needs to come to alignment with the purposes of God. Otherwise, we'll, the devil will have a field day. And the church will be where it has always been put. And especially when it comes to governance. But it will not be so. Because I know you and I are there to do priesthood. And to take this nation by the throat. Amen and amen. We love you to life. God bless each and every one of you. I'm seeing you tomorrow night as we proceed. There are many things I've not shared here. I will be sharing. Let us meet tomorrow. Uh, even in the prayer closet. Pray for us. We covet your prayers. Amen and amen. We love you to life. Good night. We shall see you tomorrow night. In Jesus mighty name. Amen.